Hello friends, this video on matrices part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 6. Now let us understand square matrix. In square matrix, the number of rows and number of columns are equal. The number of rows equal number of columns. That is m is equal to n, correct? And that is known as square matrix of order n because m is equal to n. So this is the general representation a i j, and here it is m into m because m is equal to n. So instead of n, I am writing m. So let's take my example of square matrix. This is a square matrix. If you see why? Because one, two, three, three horizontal sets. 3 into vertical 1, 2 and 3, so 3 into 3, so it is a square matrix. Let's see one example where it is not a square matrix. If you see this one, there is 1, 2 and 3 horizontal sets, so the order is 3 cross 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 vertical. So this is 3 into 4, so this is not a square matrix and this is a square matrix. We can take more examples. Example 1, 2, 3, 4. This is a square matrix of order 2 into 2. You can take one more example. Uh, let's suppose this one x, 2x, 3x, 4x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 7. Any other number I can take 2, 7, 8. If you see this matrix, 1, 2, 3, 4 horizontal sets and 1, 2, 3, 4 vertical sets. So order is 4 cross 4. Here also if you see the row number and the column number are equal. So this is also one example of square matrix. Square matrix are very critical because for square matrix itself we have different kinds. We will study all those different kinds or subtypes of square matrix. And also some of the square matrix are invertible. So those things we will study but square matrix is a critical or special type of matrix. We should focus more on. Before understanding other types of square matrices or subtypes of square matrices, let's understand the diagonal elements in a square matrix. These are very critical too. So, if Aij is a square matrix of order n, then the entries a11, a22, ann, these are nothing but diagonals of the square matrix. So, if you see this set, this is a11, this is a12. Uh, 2 2 is a 3 3. So this is my diagonal element. I'll show you this one. For example, I have a 1 1, a 1 2, a 1 3, a 1 4. Let us draw the, uh, the, the general form a 2 1, a 2 2. This is a 2 3, a 2 4. Similarly, this is a 3 1, a 3 2. A33, A34. I am drawing a 4 cross 4 matrix. A41, A42, A43, A4. So if you see 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. These elements constitute diagonal elements of the square matrix. Please note 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, such kind of element. And also note that. This diagonal element is valid only in case of square matrix. In case of rectangular matrix or horizontal, I mean any other matrix, column matrix, row matrix, rectangular matrix, this rectangular matrix, any matrix which is not square. So, in such kind of matrix which is not square, diagonal concept is not there. So, diagonal element exists only only in case of square matrix. So diagonal elements only in case of square matrix. Please note this critical. Diagonal elements exist only in case of square matrix. So uh, this is one kind of square matrix itself. This is one kind of square matrix itself that is diagonal matrix. Please pay attention here. I am introducing a new kind of matrix and that matrix is called diagonal matrix. So 
A square matrix is called a diagonal matrix if all non-diagonal elements are zero. That means if you have only diagonal elements. For example, if you see this guy, this my diagonal elements, other are zero. Here, if you see my diagonal elements are these, other are zero. Here, if you see this is my diagonal element only, one one. This is a one one, and there are no other elements. So this is also a diagonal matrix. Please note, diagonal matrix is a subtype of square matrix. So that means if you see in the form of set, if you see if this is a square matrix, square matrix. So diagonal matrix is nothing but one part or one subtype. I can say that all diagonal matrix are square matrix. But I can't say that all square are diagonal because this is a superset. Square matrix is a superset of diagonal matrix. Or I can say that diagonal matrix is a subset of square matrix. Please note for a matrix to be a diagonal matrix, first thing is First thing is, it has to be a square matrix. Once it is a square matrix, then the next condition is all non-diagonal element is zero. See, if you say non-diagonal element is zero, that itself proves it is a square matrix because I have told that for a diagonal element to exist in a matrix, that matrix has to be a square matrix. So, if a matrix has diagonal element that means the matrix I am talking about is a square matrix. Let's study another type of matrix that is scalar matrix. This is subset of diagonal matrix. I'll explain to you why. A diagonal matrix is said to be a scalar matrix if the diagonal elements are equal. If you see this kind of matrix all diagonal elements are equal. Here all minus 1, here all root 3. So for a for a diagonal met, uh, for a scalar matrix to exist, the first thing it is it has to be a diagonal matrix. If it is diagonal matrix, then all diagonal elements are equal. So if you see this fashion. In this term of set, if this is my square matrix and then I will get something called diagonal matrix. In diagonal matrix, we will get something as scalar matrix. All scalar matrix are diagonal matrix. All scalar matrix are square matrix. Why? Because scalar matrix is a subset of diagonal matrix. Scalar matrix is also a subset of square matrix. Correct. This is exactly what it says. All the bi is a is zero, where i is not equal to z, that is non-diagonal elements, and bi is a, that is i is equal to z are diagonal elements. They are equal. Just a mathematical representation. Logically, all diagonal elements are same, and non-diagonal elements are zero. Another kind of matrix is called identity matrix. A square matrix in which all the elements in the diagonal are 1 and rest are 0 is called identity matrix. So we denote identity matrix by i n of order n. We say i n, this match i n. And we observe that for a matrix to be identity matrix, it has to be a scalar matrix where the value is 1. So actually it is nothing but a scalar matrix or it is a subset of scalar matrix. Example, if you see this or this, all the values are 1. All the diagonal elements are 1 and non-diagonal elements are 0. So here also if you see, I just write in once again the bigger fashion. If this is my square matrix, correct. Then I have my diagonal matrix, a subset of square matrix actually. I have a diagonal matrix. So once I have a diagonal matrix where 
uh, all the non diagonal elements are zero and diagonal element has some value then i have a subset called scalar matrix where all the diagonal elements have some value they are all equal actually they are all equal all diagonal elements are equal but they are not one they are all equal it can be root 2 root 3 5 6 and then i get identity matrix where all my diagonal elements are one so if you see square diagonal scalar and identity matrix all are related identity matrix is a subset of scalar matrix scalar matrix is a subset of diagonal and diagonal is a subset of square matrix let's understand a different kind of matrix called zero matrix a matrix is called a zero matrix if all the elements are zero please note it is not mandatory that a matrix has to be a square matrix only any any matrix is fine for example if you see this matrix this this and this matrix this is not square this is if you see there are two horizontal and three vertical this is a, a only one horizontal and two vertical so if you see this is a row matrix i can take column matrix also this is also zero matrix this is a rectangular matrix this is a square matrix all these matrix are zero matrix so what do you observe for a matrix to be zero matrix all the element has to be zero square matrix is not mandatory because this is not the part of square matrix hierarchy the only condition is all the elements are zero then that matrix is called zero and we denote zero matrix by o thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again